as a side note, I did already push it up to the GitHub, whatever changes that we made in the last video. And this is just showing because I deleted also some comments after that. So that's the reason why you see over here it is two. And next, I would like to work on the to do list. This is going to be my next component. And first and foremost, I would like to do a little bit of the structuring. So I'm going to be looking for the items. Then we would want to clear the list. Again, these are just going to be the props that we already passed it down. And I'll delete and handle edit. These are the two methods. And this is going to be all located in the props. Then our JSX is going to look something along the lines of an order list with a class name. And let's say for the class name, we have the list group list group. And we also would want some margin and the margin is going to be Y. So top bottom is going to be five. That's if you want the margin in the bootstrap for top bottom, not just for left and right or uh, top and bottom, meaning separately, we either for the top or the bottom. If you would want for both of them, you just type Y direction. If you would want X direction, you would obviously type like this. So Y would be for the vertical one and the X would be for the horizontal one. Within the honor list, we're going to have, first of all, the heading three that will bravely have some classes. First of all, the classes are going to be text capitalize and then we're going to add text in the center text center and then let's do to do list and that's going to be our setup so for this once we're going to save it this is going to be our to do list okay i think it looks really well however now i would like to set up the items that we're going to be rendering and these items are going to be the to do items so we were going to use to do item then we're going to loop through the items that we have in the array in the state and then if there is going to be the items there then obviously we will going to be displaying them we know that we can access the javascript so we're going to write items map then since these are the items that we're obviously getting down as a prop those would be the values that we're having in the array and I'm going to say that I'm going to use the map method. And then for each and every item, this is going to be my parameter. I'm going to be returning the to do item. And you know what? For the actual to do item, why don't we set up the curly braces and let's do return as well as since this is going to be JSX, we're going to set up to do item. And then within this to do item, we're going to pass our values. However, in this case, obviously, it's going to be hard to see them because the only thing we're displaying in the to-do item is the actual text, hello from to-do item. Nevertheless, we'll be able to see the moment we're going to be adding more items in a state, the more to-do items are going to show up here. And for now, we're going to need to use the key. Remember, that was every time we were using the list, and that's going to be in the item parameter. So I'm going to say item dot ID. Then also I would like to add the title. So whatever item name I'm going to have, and that is going to be an item title. And then also I would want to pass these two methods. Remember, we had handle edit and handle delete. Now handle edit prop is going to be equal not only to the simple prop, but since we are passing down the ID, since we're going to have to click on it, and then we would want to see which particular item it is that we're deleting we need to pass it here within the arrow function because my idea is that I don't want to run this method, the handle delete. And by the way, we could have technically passed it down handle delete to a to do item and then run it. It doesn't really make a difference. In this case, I'm just showing you the second way where we can run it here, technically pass it down within the arrow function in the handle delete and then already in the to do item. We can just reference it. That would be the difference. But regardless where you do it, in one of them, you will going to have to actually pass it down within the arrow function because inevitably, eventually, you will going to have to run the method. So in this case, we're going to say candle delete. And this is where we're going to be passing the ID. And that's the only reason why I was saying up here because I hope you understand that if you would run the handle delete in the to do item, you also would need to pass down this ID. 
because obviously that's what we're interested. But since I'm already working with item ID right here in the list component, we might as well can pass it down this way. It again doesn't make a difference. However, it does make a difference that I think I'm making the mistake right now. So there's going to be parentheses and then I have the curly braces that's going to be handled the ID, meaning with an edit handle delete. And then let's do the same thing for handle edit again. This will going to be as an arrow function and we're going to be implicitly returning with handle edit and we're going to be passing item ID. The moment we're going to save it, like I said, nothing is going to happen right now. But before we test it out by adding items after the list or you know what? Still within the list. Sorry, change my mind. Uh, let's have a button. Now, this is just going to be a simple button. We're going to have some type. Let's say type could be just a simple button button type. And then we're going to add some classes. So let's say class name. And what class names we would like to add? I don't know. Button button danger. So the button is going to be red. Then also we would want and I don't know why I didn't put quotation marks. Why I'm typing away right now within the curly braces. And once I fix that, this is going to be button button danger. So the button is going to be red again. Button is going to be spanning all across button block as well as text uh, is going to be uppercase uppercase. And then we're going to have some margin on the top of five. And you know what? We also would want to have the on click method. Remember, that was the method that we're passing down the clear list. So the on click event is going to be getting the method of the clear list. So clear list reference. Let's save it. But I did forget to add the value actually in a button where we're going to have the clear list. So why don't we test it out right now? where I'm just going to add some gibberish in the items and let's see whether everything is going to be changing. And by the way, we were right away can maybe uh, head over here and open up the developer tools since we're making it bigger anyway. And once the react dev tools loads, we see that we have our app again. Everything is still the same in a state. However, if I'm going to add some gibberish, press add item. Now I'm going to have array one. And if I'm looking here, this is going to be my item. Like I said, at the moment, nothing special. We just have hello from to do item, but we can keep on adding gibberish and we're going to be still getting our items in our to do list. So at the moment, this is going to be three. And obviously the reason for that is because we have three items in the our actual state in the app and that would be our to do list. So why don't we start working on the actual to do item?